So we're going to look in chapter two in the book, and what we're going to do is basically play around with some of the code in here. Uh, you do need to start reading in 2.1, but I'm going to go ahead and jump into 2.4 because until you print, you don't actually see the results of anything. So I'm going to get in here into 2.4, and I'm going to copy all this code. So now the question is, where do we put it? So some of this is going to look familiar, system.out.print, you should know what this is going to do. The current time is printed on the screen. Now where do we put it? I'm going to make a new project, just like we always do. This is going to be a Java application, make sure Java with ANT, Java application. And I'm going to call it, uh, let's call it chapter 2 uh, code. You are allowed to have numbers in here and finish. Now, if you uh, don't want your old project here to appear here, you can right click and go to close. You also can delete, but if you delete it, it will also remove the files. So you won't be able to open it again in the future. You'd want to delete the sources too. But generally, I would recommend you don't delete things. You just close them. That'll remove them from over here. And I'll go ahead and close. Hello. All right. So this created a both a package and a public class. And now we have a place to put the code. All the code needs to go inside public static void main. And there's not enough room in here now. So what I'm going to do is delete this comment here. And I'm just going to hit return a bunch of times. So what I did is I created a lot of space in between the left curly bracket. And if I scroll down far enough, that's the matching right curly bracket because it's also the same color. Now I can take this code that I copied and I'm going to paste it in here. The indentation got messed up, so we're going to select all with control A and then alt shift F is going to format it. It also removed a lot of the extra new lines that were in here. And now we can go ahead and hit play. And it says the current time is 11.59. And that came from a lot of print statements. It took five print statements to create this. Uh, so you do need to uh, read this textbook uh, chapter so that you understand what's happening. But you're basically making it a variable here, which stores the value of 11. And then if you highlight just the hour, that variable, it'll highlight every time that variable occurs. If I highlight minute, it'll highlight every time that occurs. And you're going to get down to concatenation. So it's operations for strings. Uh, there is one operation for strings you can do, which is plus. copy this and I'm going to paste it up here Chris 